Yo, I'm kind of scared to get out of my room right now. I think there's some kind of a raccoon in my house. What? What? Dude, what are you? Who are you? What are you doing, dude? What? Is that my iPad? What? Why did you throw my iPad away? Dude, is that the M1? That's actually kind of sick. That's a great MacBook right there. Oh my God, what are you looking for, dude? What are you looking for? Oh, just Apple leaks and rumors or anything. <laughs> I, I can't find anything. I've been looking in other people's trash and it's, it's nothing. <laughs> So that was my first IRL collab with another YouTuber. It was Noah Herman. We hung out for a few hours because he was in town. Check him out down below. Link is in the description. In the meantime, we have got some news to catch you up on. So if you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and let's go ahead. I try to get through it without breathing. It was really hard. Let's go ahead and jump in though, because I can save the breathing for later. First of all, yeah, I'm in a different spot today because I wanted to switch it up. And with the lack of Apple news, I don't know if I can afford to run the electricity in this whole place anymore. So we're just gonna use the podcast studio today, but let's get started with the first story about the MacBook Pro, the M1X MacBook Pro, the MacBook Pro that we've been waiting to see. And I mean it when I take off my glasses, I've been waiting to see this and I can't even see. Listen, the rumors on this have been back and forth. It was supposed to be early this year and then it was WWDC and then it was late this year. And now a fresh release date has emerged from our boys over at Digitimes. You know those little guys, the Digitimes fellas are 63 and a half percent accurate, which means they're, they're actually one of the lower rated Apple sources. That's because they're a supply chain source and not a, a company fruit loop <laughs> they're not a fruit loop, to be clear. I'm saying they don't work at the company. It means that they're seeing shipments are happening at certain points during the year. And that's why their release dates specifically are usually, well, they can be quite off. That's why based on more credible information, I think the new MacBook Pro is coming late October or early November at a separate event. Plus you have to think if this is announced in September, this is gonna be announced at the September event, which will include iPhone 12S, iPhone 12S Pro, and the new Apple Watch. I don't see Apple doing a huge Apple Silicon update on top of the iPhone, on top of the Apple Watch, because that's a lot of stuff to talk about, and I think Apple wants individual coverage for all those things by themselves. So I'm the bearer of bad news today. I don't think the MacBook Pro is coming in September. I just think this is complete BS, and I think that's when shipments are moving, but I don't think Digitimes is gonna be right here. You might be wondering why I'm in the shower right now at 11.45 p.m. at night. It's okay, I am too. It's mainly because WeVPN paid to sponsor this video. You guys know the VPNs help you stay safer and more anonymous online, and there's a reason I use WeVPN instead of everybody else. The guys over at WeVPN are a group of industry veterans that left all the other VPN companies doing the sketchy stuff with your data in order to make a product that not only gets better every week, but that also cares about you. On top of that, WeVPN allows you to unblock content on now more than 350 streaming services around the world, meaning you can watch shows that aren't usually available in your area. I I've used this and it's so cool. And right now there's a crazy deal happening. The summer sale is live, which means that for a limited time, you can get 74% off and three months of free service when you purchase a two year plan. That's just $2.59 a month. And on top of that, when you use code IUPDATE, you get an additional 10% off. Listen, there's a reason that I continue to work with WeVPN each and every single week. And it's because I use it and I believe in it. If you guys like what I do here on YouTube, then head over to wevpn.com slash IUPDATE and get started today. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this next story about the iPhone 12S. This report from a source called Economic Daily News said that they have gotten the marketing names for this year's iPhones, that it's gonna be iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro after all. Anyway, this super random website called Economic Daily News that gets a scoop from time to time put out this report that said that's what it was gonna be, that it's gonna be called iPhone 13, which is great and it should be reported as such until you do your homework as a journalist or a creator and say, hmm, why don't I actually read this or know something about who's saying it? I saw 9to5Mac and Mac Rumors and many other sites cover it as if this was the Bible. No guys, this isn't the Bible. This is the worst report I've ever seen. Why is it not gonna be called iPhone 13? Why is Economic Daily News or EDN as they shall henceforth be referred to wrong? Well, EDN's wrong for the following reasons. Number one, EDN is only 38% accurate, which means that over six out of 10 things that they put out don't happen. Oh, and this is also the same source that said the Apple car, like unironically, the literal Apple car is coming in September of this year. 
So we're gonna get the iPhone 13 and the Apple car at the same event. Okay, guys. All right, where, who, where's your dealer? Get, sign me up. Number two, getting your hands on marketing information, like the actual name of something, is next to impossible. If we ever see it, it happens maybe 24 hours before an event, and that's because it's finally expanded to more people than a select few. To believe that Economic Daily News, two months ahead of the iPhone's release, somehow got access to it, I find quite hard to believe. And number three, as I've mentioned before, it's going to be an S year because of not only the upgrades that have been rumored, but because of Apple's history. We went from a 10, which was a major upgrade, to the 10s. When the 6 was the major form factor redesign, we went to 6s. When the 5 was the major form factor redesign, the next year we went to 5s. When the 4 was the major form factor redesign, we went to 4s. So when the 12 is the major form factor redesign, why would they go to 13? Why wouldn't they do 12s? I'm telling you it's gonna be 12S and maybe you can tweet this clip at me the day of the event, oh ha ha, you're wrong, it's iPhone 13, but there is zero evidence that Apple will A, break tradition, and that B, economic daily news at 40% accurate somehow got their act together. I feel like this video has just been me like screaming at the camera because I saw these reports and I was just like, why is everybody acting like this is real? This is not a credible report. Like that's the whole reason I made my, that's why I'm passionate because I made a site to literally track this so this doesn't happen and yet it's still happening. But hey, this is iUpdate, so I'm not gonna leave you on a bad note. That's because we got an exciting report about some of the other minor upgrades coming on the iPhone 12S this year. See, we've heard about things like Touch ID potentially under the display, of course, 120 hertz, the crazy A15 that could rival the M1 in terms of processing power, and of course, about the larger camera upgrades, but there's a couple things we've heard from Max Weinbach and Everything Apple Pro who are just about 70% accurate. So you can see the difference between them and these other sources. And a couple of things here that I found interesting. Number one, that portrait mode video should be shipping this year. It's actually already enabled in FaceTime in iOS 15. There's an option to enable portrait mode while you're FaceTiming, kind of like Zoom's feature that blurs the background and makes you look really fresh and just like, you are you look cute, you look real cute in it. I've tried it and it actually works really well, but it's, it's locked down and limited to the FaceTime app. With especially the power of the A15 chip, which is gonna be out the wazoo, we should be seeing this come in the stock camera app because, well, it's already in iOS 15 and it works there, but like proper portrait mode video. I mean, I can see Apple announcing it now. This is something that's been rumored for a couple of years and we should be seeing it on iPhone 12S, at least on iPhone 12S Pro. On the inside of iPhone 12S though, there's gonna be a nice change for MagSafe. Not only are the magnets getting stronger, the actual MagSafe unit is getting ever so slightly bigger, which there's some speculation that this could enable reverse wireless charging, which would allow you to set your AirPods or maybe an Apple Watch on the back of your phone and have it charge wirelessly. This is something that Samsung has. This is something that other Apple products have been rumored to do for so long and they, we just haven't gotten it for whatever reason. Maybe the batteries are too small. Maybe they couldn't pack it into the final design. But to play devil's advocate here, this could also just be for some slightly better heat management and wattage performance with MagSafe. So maybe we don't get reverse wireless charging again. But good news that MagSafe should at least be getting stronger magnets and, and should be a little bit more consistent on the iPhone 12S than on the 12. Although I will say, like I have MagSafe and it's fine. I, I use the MagSafe wallet and it's still fine. And you know, they're strong, but they already cause you to like die if you have a pacemaker. So don't put this by your heart if you have a, <coughs> <coughs> a pacemaker. I just get, <coughs> get, <coughs>